So, you want to be a hot dude. That is the word on the street. And I have got good news for you. Gentlemen, we are literally five days away from body language mastery, quarter two enrollment. Things are heating up. I just sent out the first update to all the members on the waiting list. And boy, oh boy, things are looking good. Things are looking real good. Let's take a look at what you'll get in Body Language Mastery. The Body Language Mastery course from Modern Life Dating is coming out June 28th this month. This course is going to show you how to understand a female's body language on a date and give you the confidence to know what she is thinking and feeling just by observing her body. The course includes 40 gestures total, both positive and negative. This course will increase your closing rate by at least 10%. In addition to that, after you are signed up for the course, there will be two daily webinars for three weeks following the course for you to attend with all your questions about the course. Absolutely free, and that is a $1,000 value. And last, you will be added to a private men's-only group that will be supporting you as you educate yourself on this journey. There is limited enrollment. That's right. Enrollment will only be one time per business quarter, so you do not want to miss out. Body Language Mastery by Modern Life Dating is being released on June 28th. To learn more, go to Modern Life Dating forward slash body language. Sign up for the email waiting list and you'll automatically receive updates about the course and your chance to enroll. The site traffic is through the roof. Um, again, guys, if you're not on the list, stop procrastinating. Go right here, modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Scroll down. Click on this link right here. Enter your best email address right here to receive the notifications. If you sign up now, you already missed one notification um, about what exactly is going to be happening in this program. Believe you me, you're not going to want to miss out. Um talk about testimonies and then tomorrow tomorrow is going to be a special show so all you guys that are listening in tomorrow is going to be testimony tuesday and you will see i'm going to have everything set up and all of the guys who are in body language mastery um they are going to call in and give testimonies as well as guys who did consultations and um, just really the whole nine yards. Um, it's really going to be one hell of a show tomorrow. Tomorrow is Testimony Tuesday. Call in if you had a positive experience with me, which I know you probably have, because I've helped tons and tons and tons of you die, uh, tons and tons and tons of you guys. I can say a few dies. Got to get my tongue untwisted here as we get ready for today's show. Guys, you're not going to want to miss out. Just keep in mind, quarter two. Some of, And listen, look, look. Um, some of you guys have been emailing me for free consultations. Some of you guys have been asking me for free access to Body Language Mastery. No. You pay to play, okay? You pay to play. You get in while you still can because this, progr this program is disappearing next year. Right now, it's $397. Quarter three, $497. Quarter four, for um 597 and then 2020 it's game over that thing is not coming back you think i'm joking this is going to be i'm going to be slammed by then and the way bitcoin is going up as well i'm going to be i'm going to be on a yacht somewhere so um you don't want to miss out that's all i got to say um charlie will be joining us on the webinars as well so you get free cryptocurrency advice from him we're gonna have all the superstars come through uh last time rich cooper came through um this time maybe rollo will come through um black label logic came through last time ryan stone you will get the whole rule zero a squad no joke no bullshit 100 percent authentic real game no purple pills no nonsense no feel good 
woo-woo, new age nonsense. All right? And, um, yeah, that's that's all I got to say. That being said, welcome, gentlemen. Let's see who's in the chat. Elijah Cohen, my friend. What is up, sir? Um, yes, we'll handle your consultation tomorrow after the show. Okay? Um, we got... Eric Von Wettel in the house. Project Les, what's up? Edgar, what's up? Jason, my man. What up? Muhammad. Muhammad, you're the man, bro. Hope you're doing okay out there, brother. Supremely sublime. What's up? Haven't seen you in a while. I heard Sambada. Yes, that was Sambada. He did the voiceover for me. Um, the True Light. When is V2 of Body Language coming? I got to figure out um, – because I was supposed to have two models, um, but they fell through and I couldn't get it handled but i am coming out there is a body language master 2.0 and everybody who buys body language mastery now you get free access to body language mastery 2.0 um, and it's going to include male body language as well so um the value is there i'm actually trying to lock down this uh, professional bodybuilder who is one of the only few foreigners to win uh mr japan like he's an australian guy he entered to the bodybuilding competition in Japan and he won even though he's not Japanese. So like that's huge in this country because you know, you know, the Japanese they want their they want their guy to win. And he got shafted at a competition before. But um his name is Lee. He's an awesome guy. He's actually in the Resident Evil 2 remake. If you played Resident Evil 2 the remake, um there's a guy who Leon Kennedy is actually pulling from under like a uh, a shut like a garage door shutter kind of thing and the zombies rip him in half completely and kill the guy that's my boy um he's been in tokyo modeling for the longest time the guy has like one percent body fat he's like peak peak alpha male body and i'm trying to get him but he's really popular he's very hard to lock down because i just don't want to throw out another product that's like completely trash so get in right now body language mastery um enrollment for quarter two and then when you guys all you guys, so all you guys, quarter one, you're already set for uh, 2.0. You're going to get it 100% for free. Everybody who gets in quarter two also gets Body Language Mastery 2.0 completely for, for free. So uh, just bear with me. It is coming one thing at a time here. But thank you for the question, True Light. Um, awaiting your notifications, mate. Yeah, no, I sent, out the, I sent out the email yesterday, one of them. Um, Cannibal Kane, what's up? Dread Pirate Robert, what up, man? Mark Gordon, what's up, big dog? Mark Gordon, you are you are the man, bro. You're the you're pound for pound, like you're supporting all of us. Excuse me, all of us. Um, Pop of Sky, what's up? Welcome, welcome. One percent body fat is not possible. Minimum possible five percent. You know what I mean. Don't be one of those guys. You know what I mean. Come on, man. Give me some slack here. I mean, you fucking. You want me to go and get the calipers out and measure him? Come on. Don't give me too much shit. Um, yeah, so also, uh, it may or may, I mean, we, it's almost confirmed. Um, rule zero will be not 100% confirmed, but rule zero will be on my channel this Saturday, um, which is the new Red Man group. We'll see. Uh, it's not, everybody's voted yes except for one person. We got to wait for that final vote to come in. Um, but it's looking very probable that Rule Zero will be on this channel on Saturday. So you do not want to miss out. Subscribe right now. Like, comment, share, the whole nine yards. Um, and also, please do be sure to follow me here on Twitter. At Modern Life John. I also have it pinned here. The the advertisement for what's going on June 28th, June 29th, June 30th, July 1st, and July 2nd. Body Language Mastery. You're not going to want to miss out. Guys, I've got a bomb episode for you today. Um, yeah. Yeah, I got to say. Oh, CJ says MLD Shade Game on point. Yo, what's up? Thank you so much, bro. That is appreciate you. Autism Boy, thank you for yesterday's donation. Guys. Oh, man. Oh, God, today's episode is going to be just, just as Samuel L. Jackson said in Jurassic Park, hold on to your butts because we're about to go on a wild ride. I'm about to take you guys down a side of the internet you do not want to see. <laughs> oh, 
Let's see. Uh, did you clean the spam from Rolls chat last night? The bastard ASG was at his work last night. Dude, I passed out in the middle of his chat last night because you know I I I moderate Rolls chat because he asked me to do, but I usually stay up all night and they they start at five thirty a.m. and dude, yesterday, um, I passed out and bro, oh my god, dude, I woke up today, holy shit so there was a 5.8 magnitude earthquake today in tokyo and i was sleeping and that shit woke me up i'm from florida so hurricanes are no problem but when the earth starts shaking dude i was freaking the fuck out i was like oh my god i i, I was paralyzed i'm just i'm just gonna i was just like fuck i'm just gonna lay here and die like i was just i was really waiting i was just waiting for like i was like thinking all right, like, let's see if this gets worse. And, like, it started getting worse, and I'm moving more. It's the strongest earthquake I've ever felt in my life. Um, dude, terrifying. Terrifying. It only lasted, like, 15, 20 seconds. But, dude, earthquakes are not cool. And I don't know if you guys know about earthquake history or whatever, but the region that I'm in, which is the Kanto region, um, is actually due for a massive earthquake. Um I am praying to the Lord Jesus Christ and the great alpha in the sky. Please, Lord, protect me and all my hot dude nature. Please protect me from these earthquakes. Hurricanes, no problems. But tornadoes and earthquakes, I don't fuck with that. It's terrifying, bro. Absolutely terrifying. I got those in Oklahoma not too long ago, says Elijah. Wow. Yikes, 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 yikes. All right, guys. Here we go. Who's ready to dive in? Tony S., welcome to the chat, brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, oh, Lord in heaven. Here we go. So we're going to talk about something pretty crazy. All right. And here we are. Let's, let's just pull this up on the screen here. The Society for Personality and Social Psychology, Foodie Calls, Dating for a Free Meal Rather Than a Relationship. This is a recent study that was published on June 20th, 2019. It is now June 24th. This is four-day-old study that has just been processed and published to the public. It says, Washington, D.C., when it comes to getting a date, there are numbers of there's any numbers of ways people can present themselves and their interests. One of the newer phenomena is a foodie call, where a person sets up a date with someone they are not romantically interested in for the purpose of getting a free meal. This is pretty funny how um, I'm pretty sure this was written by I don't know if it's written by this lady here, Annie Drinkard. Um, let me see, is it is it written down here? I don't know who's written by, but this is certainly not a newer phenomenon. Let me tell you something this uh, about this, gents. Women have been using men since the beginning of centuries of go. All right, since the longest time, women do it, and women do it all over the world. All over the world, even the cutest, most innocent girl you think that she's like the purest little angel. That woman, too, has used her sexuality in some way, shape, or form to get what she wants. And, and honestly, how can you be mad at them? I would usually, if, if every girl wanted to fuck me and would willingly shill over cash and presents and pay my bills and everything, you fucking don't think I would do that? Shit. And I don't, don't act like you guys don't have the moral compass. But the point I'm trying to make here. As I want to bring awareness to the situation so you don't get taken through the ringer. And before I even get further down the, the, the rabbit hole with this situation we have here with the foodie calls, keep in mind this. I'll be the first to air out my dirty laundry. I have been had before by many women who pretended they were interested in me, but really they just wanted to get a free meal, wanted to get some free drinks. And that's why I made the shift to the first date is coffee date. Starbucks, maximum thing she's getting is a venti. Maybe we could share a cookie. Depends how generous I'm feeling and does she show up on time, okay? 
Because at the end of the day, if you're trying to find out if a girl's really interested in you, she's going to be there for you, not for what you offer. Okay? If you offer a girl like, hey, baby, let's go to Morton Steakhouse first date, of course she's going to say yes. Even if she's not interested in you, she gets to go to a luxury restaurant, dress up, look really beautiful, and have you drop three, four, five hundred dollars on a meal only to leave you with fucking nuts bluer than the blueberry tart they served you for dessert. Okay? So that is the reality. And so this is not a newer phenomenon. This has been happening forever. This happened to me. One of the ones that I specifically remember was in in Hawaii in 2014. I was picking up chicks in my cab as usual. And I remember I met this white chick. And she was really into me and everything. I picked her up. And then we got to the restaurant. And uh, what, what I noticed is that the restaurant, she was ordering like ordering appetizers and get a little too, getting a little cheeky. So I was like, all right, like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to make a scene here. But... I was like, you know, and then she was like woofing this food down. I don't know if this bitch was broke or whatever, but she was like slamming this food down, like macaroni and cheese and everything. So it came to the point that like when I got back to her place to drop her off, I went for the kiss and she was like, oh, wait, no, I just want to be friends. I was like, (laughs) and I already knew what was happening at that point, but I was just like, damn, this bitch tricked me because I just wanted to bang her too much. Um, And this happens all the time. I like to call it the beta male economy. We're going to talk about some more things that are happening in the beta male economy, but let's continue. It says new research finds that 23 to 33% of women in an online study said they've engaged in a foodie call. Now, yeah, okay, now here again, keep in mind, this is an online study that had them self admitting, okay? So we are assuming that they told the truth. Now, you know, theoretically, they could be lying by saying that they have not done it as well. And this number theoretically could be lower. But I'm assuming that this number is way higher just based off of my personal evidence as well as all of like the hundreds and hundreds of men that I've coached over the past four years running Modern Life Dating. Some of these dudes get taken to the cleaners. Oh, we're going to we're gonna go, go more into that. It says, upon further analysis, the social and personality psychology research has found that women who, sc- who scored high on the dark triad of personality traits, which is psychopathy, uh, Machiavelli, uh, Machiavelli, oh Jesus, I can't even speak English anymore, Machiavelli, <laughs> Machiavellianism, Machiavellianism. Let me tell you something, when you live in Japan, your English actually gets worse because I'm speaking Japanese and thinking in Japanese all day. Um... I like to go back to America and just like hear new slangs and stuff. But yeah, that's why I'm having trouble reading this. I assure you, I'm not stupid. Machiavellianism and narcissism, okay? The big three, dark triad, as well as expressed traditional gender role beliefs. Interesting, right? It's funny. Everybody wants to be, you know, they, they're they feminists. They're super in, strong, independent woman up until that check comes. Then, you know pigtails come out she's twirling her hair like oh my god what are we gonna do like who's gonna pay for this or I, my favorite is the fake reach for their wallet when they fake reach for their wallet fake reach for the purse it's really funny um uh as expressed as uh expressed traditional general beliefs were most likely to engage in a foodie call and find it acceptable now i digress okay now here's the thing I, I'm not, I'm not like, oh dude, like, you know, you, you have to always have a woman pay no matter what, like 50, 50, ah, like I'm not like that. Okay. Actually, if you live in Japan, it is traditional in Japanese for when you go on a date with a woman for you to split it 50, 50, that's a cultural norm here. So it's good. And it's good. If I, if I'm, if I'm going to go on a date with a girl that is really insufferable, I make sure she pays half. I'm like, ah, uh, listen here, sweetie, you gotta, you're gonna have to fork out half of this money. Not because I can't afford it, because I think to myself, why would I pay for just like one of the worst experiences of my life? If I could tell a date is going south, I'm like, I'm, I'm with the quickness. I'm just like, all right, gotta go. Like, uh, you know, they're flying in the liver, baby. I gotta do the transplant 5 a.m. See you later. Gotta go check, please. Let's go. And uh, I bounce out quickly. But if I like the girl, I'll pay. And that's the thing I'm saying. It's like I'm not saying like don't be like, oh, I'll never pay, yada, yada, yada. If a girl's good to you, okay, I ultimately I think that a man should, you know, if you have the big three handle that we talk about here, make money, make muscles, learn game. If you have those big three things covered, then a 50, 60, 70, I mean, you shouldn't be going on $70 dates unless like you're actually dating the girl, right? 
that's just no girl is worth that in my opinion like just, unless you unless you're flossing hard then that's fine but um not not me not me um but you know the the primary motive i'm trying to get across here is that you know you can be taken to the cleaners financially by women don't think that they won't do that there are men out there that will do it too okay if you're a rich person you know exactly what i'm talking about so you want to be able to go on dates with women who are with who like you for you. If a girl likes you, she'll go with you to McDonald's and be thrilled to eat a double cheeseburger with you. That's just the bottom line right there. Let me check back up in the chat see what's going on here. Shake rattle roll says Von Weddle. Got tornadoes. Doc the white Dr. Phil, what's up? JWP Michael, what's up? Good consultation we just had there, JWP Michael. I'm glad you're doing okay. Count Yoli, what's up? Greg B, what up? Un unactive, what up? All feminists turn into professional women when the bill sh shows up. Absolutely. Raphael, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while. I'd be a jigglo with a lightning quickness. Zuzu for life. What's up, dude? Thank you for those nice comments you said yesterday, Zuzu. You're a nice person. Gothic Panda, what up? Ivor, what's up? Uh, Trophy Dolphin says, bitches be acting weird when the bill comes. That's funny. Uh, in Nigeria, it has to be higher than that. Interesting. Very interesting. You're from Nigeria, uh, CJ. I got some good friends from Nigeria. Let's go back. So let's go back to the article here. Upon further analysis, oh no, here we go. Uh, research by Brian Collison, Jennifer Howell, and Trista Harig of Azusa Pacific University and UC Merced appears in the journal Social, Psychological, and Personality Science. In the first study, 820 women were recruited. Okay, so that's the sample size there. When you see a, psycholo uh, a psychological uh, report, like a, uh, a psychological study, N is going to equal 820. N is indicating of the sample size. That's where they are sourcing their data from in regards to this certain situation. With 40% reporting they were single, 33% reporting married, and 27% saying that they were in a committed relationship but not married, out of them, 85% said they were heterosexual and they were the focus for this study, okay? So 85% out of 820. I can't do the math like that, but... uh. It's probably like, okay, 85%. I'm, I'm not crunching numbers on the air. Um, the woman answered a series of questions. One of my engineer guys, can you help me up in the chat? 85% of 820 so we can get a, get some raw facts here. Um, the women answered a series of questions that measured their personality traits, beliefs about gender roles, and their foodie call history. They were also asked if they thought a foodie call was socially acceptable. Of course they're going to say yes. Of course. A, a staggering majority of them are going to say yes. 23% of women in this first group revealed that they'd engaged in a foodie call. Now, this is self-admittance, gentlemen. This is self-admittance. Okay? These are the women with some semblance of a conscience. All right? Uh, you best believe that some of those chicks were lying. I guarantee fucking to you. Most did so occasionally or rarely. <laughs> oh, Lord. Although women who had engaged in foodie call believed it was more acceptable, most women believe foodie calls were extremely to moderately unacceptable. Again, this is all self-admittance, okay? You can't really trust this number, these things here because this is relying on a, a human to be honest, okay? This is like if we were to poll a bunch of dudes be like, okay, how big is your dick? Every guy's going to be like, 10 inches, 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 right? How tall are you? Six foot, six foot, six foot, six foot, six foot, okay? It's, it's come on, come on. You know, you got to factor in that these these studies can be flawed in both ways too, you know? Theoretically, 23% of women could have, it could be lower. But based on my personal experience and experience of hundreds of men that I've couldn't have consultations with in the past, tough, tough to believe. The let me see. Did somebody crash crunch number for me. Six ninety seven. Tony, I, I was expecting you to do it. Six ninety seven. Okay. Um. So the second study analyzed a similar set of questions of three hundred and fifty seven heterosexual women and found that thirty three percent, thirty three percent, had engaged in a foodie call. 
It is important to note, however, that neither of these studies recruited representative samples from uh, of women, so we cannot know if these percentages are accurate for women in general. For both groups, th uh, those that engaged in foodie calls scored higher in the dark triad personality traits. So the more likely a woman was to be uh, scoring high for traits of psychopathy, uh, Machiavellianism, and uh, narcissism, right? Like infinite selfie. These type of girls were also more likely to engage in foodie calls. Several dark triad, several dark triads, excuse me, several dark traits have been linked to deceptive and exploitative, ex exploitative behavior in romantic relationships, such as one night stands, yum yum yum, faking an orgasm, who cares, and un and sending unsolicited sexual pictures ah oh, fucking sign me up for those girls <laughs> I, I one night stands yes sir faking orgasms i don't care sending me nudes <laughs> send them right away honey i got a collection and you could just you could be another goose in the gander another geese in the gaggle Carlson and Herrig said that they became interested in the subject of foodie calls after reading about the phenomenon in the news jesus Carlson and Herrig are not getting any fucking action at all Brian and the, well, Trist is a woman, so Trista, you know, maybe she's actually has a morals, but Brian's definitely not on the. He's not living that hot dude life. He's not out there dating a lot of chicks because he would be, he would know. As for how many foodie calls might be occurring in the United States, Carlson says that can't be deferred from the current research. I'll let you know right now. It's a lot. It is a lot for sure. Um. They could be more prevalent, for instance, if women lied or misremembered their foodie calls to maintain a positive view of their dating history. Well, at least this guy's, uh, he has a very good perception of the scientific method in regards to, you know, this study, realizing that they're, they're, you know, it could theoretically be higher. And it theoretically could be lower, but I doubt it's lower. Um, you know, because why would you, why would you, you know, why would you falsely admit to being a bad person or, or something to be perceived as a bad person. Most women want, or most women are very aware of their social perception and social um, value and social standings. They're very social creatures and they're, they're very, they understand rankings. You know, they meet other girls and like, okay, this girl's prettier than me. This girl's not. Uh, this guy's rich. This guy's a loser. And that's why they treat alpha males like fucking kings. And some of you guys know if you're a beta male, like one of the worst things that can ever happen to you is like being treated like absolute dirt by a girl that you're interested in. Um, I know because this happened to me before. And like I don't do the whole alpha male, beta male thing, whatever. But if I were to consider myself, obviously I'm going to consider myself alpha because I've been on date with more than 500 women. Like clearly I'm doing something right. Um, and there have been women that I've gone on dates with and I was just like, damn, this girl's so fine. And she treated me like fucking dirt. Okay. I remember one chick, Samantha. Woof. Samantha, I'm not gonna say her last name, but uh, she, oh buddy, man, this this girl made me feel like dirt. But uh, I stumbled upon her recently, and karma has taken a hold of her because she looks like an old bag of laundry. Good lord, the wall has hit her at 29. Like 29, you still you should still look sexy if you take care of yourself. But you know, I think when you're a shitty person, it manifests on your physical appearance. I I personally believe so. Um. Let's go back to the chat. Uh, let's see. Dan Hamlet, what's up? Jean-Simon LaRose, what's up? What's up? Free meal ticket. Boy, that pisses me off. Most women that I've taken the test, that I've had take the test are high in Machiavellianism. Beautiful. Muhammad, what's up? Tommy B. Shelby, what's up? Did anyone catch Don's video on female notch count? Pure comedy. His Donovan's shows have been fucking amazing lately. He's been averaging 500 live viewers as well. He's killing it. Um... What up, Ernie? So, yeah. So, that's, that's, you know, tell me this. Shoot me a number four in the chat if you have been the victim of a foodie call. I, I will throw the first ceremonial four in the chat there. Let me know if you've been, if you've been taken to the cleaners. A girl has been like, yeah, I want to go out with you. I want to go on a date with you. Blah, blah, blah. But... You ended up paying for the date. You thought everything was going well. 
and then boom. Sorry, I'm, I feel sick. I got to go home. I'm busy tomorrow. Nice to meet you. And then you never hear from her again. Not very nice. Not very nice at all. Oh, Edgar Sandoval, Tony S with the four. Yeah, it's no fun. It is no fun. Never pay for dates, says Gothic Panda. My man. <laughs> My man. Robert with the four. Yeah, and it takes a lot of balls. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. And it's uh, and that's the thing. This is why I always say to do the date, either coffee date, insta sex, or drinks. And you know, you buy her like one or two drinks. Definitely don't be cracking out your credit card and dumping tons of cash on her. Um, Zuzu for life says, how would you deal with a dark triad psycho bitch? One who's really good in bed but give you too much drama. Face down, ass up, bang, bang, bang. Okay, honey, you got to go. They're flying in the kidney tomorrow. I got to do the transplant. 5 a.m. I got to wake up. Sorry. Uh, you know, it's for a child who is, you know, from this orphanage in this place in Africa. I'm super important. Uh, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Omad Prime says, I do coffee shop dates. Money in the bank. Money in the bank. For movie theater, movie theater, for theater movie call also, she needed to see Amistad for class. Amistad. <laughs> uh, Camden says, no, but a bitch tried and I detected it. And that and that's what my philosophy is here. Like when you're going to go on dates with guys, uh, with you're going to go on dates with girls, guys, you know, you want to make sure that when you're going on the date, your your goal for the date should not be how can I Im make her happy? How can I cater the evening and the environment to to supplicate to her? That's not something you want to do. What you want to do is you want to be setting up the date for you to have fun primarily. Okay, I definitely don't believe in movie dates. Movie dates are some of the dumbest things ever unless you've already slept with her or you genuinely like the girl and you think that it would lead to something okay if a girl's going out with you date two or three i mean i'm always saying hey come on abc always be closing what are you gonna do you're gonna meet her hey how you doing and then go to the movie get some popcorn and then sit down next to her for two hours and don't say a word that's a terrible idea for a movie or excuse me, not for, well, for a movie too. It's a terrible idea for a date, okay? Terrible. One of the worst possible dates ideas you can ever do. I want to see if I can find what this chick looks like. Trista, let me see what this Trista Herrick girl looks like. Well, she also said that she was... Uh, Oh, this girl said she was shocked. I don't believe her for a second. I do not believe. Okay, let me let me pull up this chick. Wait, wait, is this her? Wait, is this her? Yeah. Okay, so this is the girl that says she doesn't believe that the foodie calls were happening, or she was shocked that the foodie calls were happening. And, I mean, she's obviously not, like, you know, a super hot Instagram model influencer. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't believe her. I feel like she's just saying that to save face. Um... And that's why I say when you guys go on dates, you know, you want to make sure that a woman is there for you, not what you bring to the table. OK, that is the most ideal situation, because at the end of the day, guys, who wants to be used? Nobody wants to be used. It's, it's a terrible feeling, terrible feeling. John, should you always be dating or take time out now and again? I'll tell you what, when you take time out, you get rusty, guys. Game is just like lifting weights in the gym, okay? No lifting, no gains. No gains, no progression. And no progression equals regression. 
the bottom line is this. You you could take time off, okay? But if you take the time off, listen, you're going to get rusty. That's just concrete iron iron rules of the game, all right? You, if you take three months off from the gym, you're going to start looking a little flabby. Your bench is going to go down, all right? Same thing. You take a couple months off from dating, pimping, whatever, you're going to get sloppy. And guys, we've got over 55 people in the chat right now. Please click that like button. Very Thank you. Thank you very much. Please click that like button. 57 now. 23 likes. Let's get those likes up to 35, 40, 100, whatever you can do. Um. Yeah, and we're we're gonna we're gonna oh Jesus, looks like my Instagram stream just crashed out of nowhere, or I just got zucked. I just got zucked. I bet you I got zucked. They listen to you on the phone. You know that? Let's fire this back up. Can't hold me down, Zuckerberg. You cannot hold me down. So. Smash that like button, guys. Smash like so um, my Instagram sh doesn't get shut down again. That's kind of annoying. All right. So, yeah, I, I don't think this chick is whatever. Okay. So, anyways, which brings me to the next, the next topic here, okay, which is the beta male economy. Guys. Oh, my God. Dude. You know, people people want to <laughs> Charlie, what up? Uh you know, people want to criticize me sometimes for charging for consultations or charging to get into body language mastery, right? And um, you know, it's fair. Fair. You're you're allowed to criticize. This is a free country, it's a free nation, right? Um but the reason is what people don't realize is people have more money than it is perceived, okay? You all have a lot more money than you think you do. It's just most people are very bad with their finances. Most people don't track every single dollar. Most people don't track what money's coming in. We're gonna talk now about the biggest and largest beta male economy in the world. And I'm talking about one of my favorite websites. Much as 40 late. seconds. That's how bad. Oops. Could you hear that? One of my most. King Ref says, I just want to say you have great contact before I go to bed. Thank you, King Ref. Have a great day. Um, we're talking about the website Twitch. Boy, oh, boy. Does this make me sick to my stomach? <laughs> you know, it is what it is. But as you guys know, like the other day, and I hate that this she always shows up on my thing, on my recommended channels. I actually met this chick the other day. You guys saw me, right? Um, I went out to a party or whatever with this chick right here. And she has been streaming on Twitch now for 15 days. She has 853 followers and Tons of dudes are already donating money to her, the whole nine yards. Um, you know, this is this is her when I was with her the other time. Bench. How much do I bench? Fucking great. How much do you bench? How much do I bench? Yeah. You can bench you. More than you fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> you can bench you. You can bench her. She probably weighs like 100 pounds. I can easily bench her. 100 pounds. I don't do pounds. So, uh, she, yeah. Basically, well, she asked me to pick her up. Right now. <laughs> Like like horizontally. Okay. That's a horse. Okay. What do I do? I don't even know what's going on right now. Well, as long as you okay. Above your head. That's there you go. That that okay, alright. That that probably counts. Well, alright. This is fucking So, you know, not that much uh, not that much content, really, just us at the party, drinking, whatever, and already she has far more followers than me. I have put up so many videos and done so much streaming on this website uh, compared to her, 
And I am literally sitting at, I mean, it's fucking pathetic to be honest with you. Um, but it just like, and this is a, this is an economy that is, um, thriving due to beta meals. Yeah. Here's mine. Um, if you find me, if you want to follow me on Twitch, go ahead. I do games, uh, hot dude life, twitch.tv forward slash hot dude life. 38 followers, okay? And I do streams that are super long. I play games. I try to be as engaging with the chat as possible. But this chick can show up and literally get more than 10 times my follower base in less than 15 days, okay? Um, Charles says, got to get that clean and jerk. No, I could have I pressed her, but... She was moving, and the last thing I wanted to do was, you know, I could have pressed her, but then she was so unstable with the upper half of, like, her torso that if I dropped her, it would just been a bad look, like, smashing a fucking girl's head on Twitch in the, you know, the, the party of the fucking, um, of the, the business people I was with in that room. It would just killed everything, okay? So, <laughs> Charlie says, show me them boobies. <laughs> okay so that that is just i just wanted to show you that it's actually not that entertaining right they they, sh they literally just show up actually she's live right now uh right here singing just singing karaoke i can't go back to where i used to be <laughs> it's fucking hilarious okay and then this one is actually, oh no, let me stop with this chick. Okay, so this is another chick. I just stumbled upon her because I live in, they track my GPS. So these are all people that are like kind of recommended channels near me. These, a lot of these people are in uh, Tokyo. This is a girl called Meowko, right? And is, she, you know, is she cute? Yeah, she's cute. Um, is she anything to like go crazy over? Mm, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Um, but let me give you an example of the beta male economy because this is truly, this is the guy, these are the guys out here. These are, that are your competition. Okay. So here's, she's live, you know, she speaks a little English. She's gone all over. Um, she is, you know, what they call all girls like this. There's, there's a, they call them, uh, there's, there's a slang called Twitch thoughts or E girls or like, you know, low level cam girls, whatever. That's what they call them. I, I mean, hey, you know what? Get your paper, girl. Do what you got to do. I don't care. But I just, I want to bring awareness to you guys knowing that like, look at all of this money that's flowing out there. Now check this out, okay? Check this out. This happened four days ago. After English. Keep living your best dreams. This is from all of us. <laughs> okay, for you guys to know. Uh, Lula Hoop donated $5,992.73. Think about that for a second. She just shows up and talks to a camera, and people are literally giving her some people's you know, uh, two months worth of their salary and it just a, in the click of a button. Okay. And it gets, this gets way better. Okay. So yeah. And, and these girls, they're not like super, super hot. They're not like, Oh my God. Like I need to be with her. She, I mean, she's cute. She's not ugly, but it's, it's definitely, definitely would never give her $6,000 for anything. Even if it was like a year's worth of sex, there's no way I would do that. Then you got this girl, Cutie Cinderella, um, and then her, you know, she's uh, she's got thirty six thousand followers, and she just shows up, um, just talking to the camera and just like, you know, literally, she's gotten to the point where she's just like twelve hours of no content, her just talking, right? This is what she looks like. Um, her Instagram is this one. This is her. Okay. Cute girl, nice face. Um, 
Nice, nice lips, nice teeth, beautiful blue eyes. Obviously, obligatory tit shot, right? Nothing crazy, okay? You can see better, like more, this is like more of a realistic angle. Definitely wearing tons of makeup. And I like this, this uh, heavy, heavy coating of red lipstick. That's really sexy on girls. A kind of like lacquer, like lacquer look. But yeah, and that, that's her there, okay? Now, somebody just recently donated to her, and I kid you not, this guy's username is the phase of face donated $17,263, okay? $17,263. $3. That's this week. Is he all, is he all time leader? Yeah, he's all time leader, of course he is. Think about that. Just showing up and talking to a camera. That is what she did. Let me let me give you a comparison. Let me show you my stream lives, okay? My monthly top donating guy is Tom Bombadil, who gave me a hundred dollars to convert to Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> That is your competition, guys. The beta males giving literally thousands of dollars, okay? Weekly, uh, not enough data. But yeah, Elijah did donate to book a consultation. So he didn't even just give me that. He, he, he donated to get something in return, which is fine. If you, if you want to book consultation, that's fine. You could book it through Streamlabs. We got Vandy, Wiggly, Robert, Tony S with the 10, Authors Boy with the 5, Charles Caballero with the 5, Okay. But this chick has $17,000. $17,000, guys. Okay? <laughs> Can we just wrap? Some people don't even make $17,000 a year. And we got the beta male economy shilling us out with the quickness. Okay? And by the way, speaking of shilling, if you find this message of value, go ahead and click on that link right there. Streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. Send me $17,000, please. I guarantee I'll put it to good work. <laughs> but guys, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, Stephanie Eats Egg says, thank you, MLD. You inspired me for my German porn star mustache. You are welcome. I live to serve. Okay. Um, oh, my God. What a headache. What a headache. <laughs> Yo, my Lord in heaven. Good Lord. Yeah, so that that is... Uh, <laughs> That's what we are dealing. That is your competition, guys. Okay, let me go back to the chat here. Beta, beta male economy. Buy high, sell low. Exactly. Cannibal Kane says, the only time I don't split the bill is if she's currently putting out. At, at that point, we go every other date who pays. My love ain't free. Good for you, bro. You have something called self-esteem. Bad Boy TV says, salute, bro. Glad I could watch you live. Thank you. Were, John, were you smashed here, John? Not yet. Uh, what's your credit score? One. Um, she is five out of ten, says JWB Michael. This is the reason why fives have an ego of eight. Exactly. What up, Mr. Jackson? Boobies equal their only currency value. Boobies and the the promise of sex, the the delusion that that the guys think they might have sex with them, right? And guys, sixty eight people in here. We almost scratched seventy. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. But more importantly, please click like so YouTube can automatically push this out and get people in here to watch. Um, for you guys watching on Instagram, come on over to YouTube.com. Type in Modern Life Dating in the search bar. Come on over to Interview with a Man, episode 95. A third of women lie on dates for free food in the beta male economy. Now we got 70 in the house. What's up? Slam that like button like beta males. Slam digital cash into the pockets of these Twitch thoughts. Holler at your boy. Um, let's see. Darius Gray, man, I seen it. I seen a chick get a hundred k for a house on Twitch. Beta males ruled the website. Unbelievable, a hundred thousand dollar donation. Oh Lord, smashing a chick's head on on Twitch. Dude's been banned for less. That's true. Are are 
are these dates cam girls? No. She's not even playing games. Basically a PG-13 webcam show. Exactly. Uh, oh, are these Tate's cam girls? No, they're not. I feel like the guy was low-key hating when he said, I don't know what's going on here. He knew damn well. He, well, that's, that's yeah, whatever. I, I'll, I'll talk to you about that in private, Charles. She's going full retard. Never go full retard. Boobie's getting that work. Meowko is 6.5 out of 10. She's got some great boobs, but she's wearing mass, super push-up bra. Life on easy mode. Yeah, and that's the thing. You know, they are. <laughs> IRS joins the chat. That's hilarious. Have you seen the YouTuber, My Beast? He donates like 50K to people on Twitch. Interesting. Come donate to me. Dude, sipping hardcore, 5,000. Dude, 6,000. $5,900. Okay. And then, yeah, 17K on the donations as well. $17,000 donation. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know what? You know what? I would, I swear to God, out of principle, I would take that 17000 invest into Bitcoin, and then take that money and go build orphanages in Africa and drill wells for water just to prove a point that, like, <laughs> God, it's just. <sighs> Oh my God. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. And that's another thing. Like, you know, that's why you guys got to real. that's what, that's my strongest point. It's like, I don't put women on a pedestal because I, I've seen it all on my end. I've seen it straight up. And again, you know what? Listen, there, this beta male economy is never going to stop. And I'm definitely not hating on these chicks. Let them hustle these fools. Cause at the end of the day, they still end up with, with dudes like me because even if you're uh, giving a girl literally thousands of dollars, okay, hours of attention, okay, jillions of compliments, the bottom line is this. If you're not an alpha male or not an attractive man, no matter what, she will not be attracted to you, period. There are no ands, ifs, or buts about it, period. She will not be attracted to you. You can give her a goddamn Ferrari. Would not happen. And that is why I'm expressing this to you guys, is for you to know you cannot buy a woman's love. You cannot buy her affection, okay? It has to be genuine desire. And how do you stimulate that genuine desire? By being an above average man. How do you become above average man? You make money. You make muscles. You learn game. You have yourself sorted out. And when you enter the dating market, these guys are your competition. Okay? These are the guys you have to beat. I have never donated a single dollar to a woman on stream ever. I donate to my friend Rob. Uh, he was on uh, he's on Twitch and I was just fucking with his chat and I sent him like 20 bucks. And I've sent some other dudes who are like really grinding hard to make a channel. I, I sent those guys money because I support I support the whole streaming economy. I'm a streamer. I'm a streamer myself. So I completely understand. But to be a man streamer versus being a woman streamer, it is completely different. Here's the thing, though. The good thing is when you're a man streamer, initially, it's it's very similar to life, okay? Because the top streamers on uh, Twitch, the majority of them are all men, right? And these girls, they, they it's just like their SMV. They start off quick, but they burn out fast, okay? Because at the end of the day, the real guys who are the true gamers, they're not on there for, you know, e-girls. They're not on there trying to get attention, uh, or from from uh, women, okay, they're in there because of the hardcore gamers, right? Now, if we talk about like some of the the most like in, like intense channels, one of them is Doctor Disrespect, but he's banned right now, so I can't pull up his channel. Um, it's a whole three thousand dollars. But let me let me see. Okay, like here we go. Check this out. So get these men. This is a this is a uh, what do you call it? This is a uh, a live uh, like a gaming event. With a bunch of people, and then this is all basically featuring men. And check this out: hundred thousand live viewers right now, hundred thousand watching. Okay. Um, if you go to the browse, you can see all the different types. Uh, Ninja Spirit is the game they're playing. Um, you know, you can go to let's let's just go to Dota. 
So you go to Dota 2, and you can see all, like, the top dudes. They're all men. Okay? Aloha Dance TV. It's the dude. 5,000 people watching him live, right? 421,000 subscribers. Uh, he is verified by Twitch, right? This is, it looks like it's a Russian streamer. He's got 3,000 watching him. 43,000. He's not actually a top one, but the top ones are pretty, pretty big. So the girls, they're short-lived. And then the other thing is too, like, here's the bottom line. There, there's a time limit on how much money they can make on this whole thing. Because, you know, as they get older, as the titties start drooping, because it's just a scientific fact that as you get older, the collagen starts to drop, starts to fade away. You know, the... The attention starts to fade away. So if you want to be a man and do like a YouTube or Instagram or Twitch or whatever, you have to like provide good content. You have to be consistent. You have to create a schedule. You have to have good overlays. You have to have engaging pop-ups. You have to do so many different things to get the attention of an audience and keep it. As to when you're a girl, all you have to do is be not fat and show a little bit of cleavage and literally you will be banking if you do it consistently for a year one year that's it one fucking year so i digress i am not hating but i'm just stating the truth okay i'm not hating i'm just stating this is just the truth about all this stuff how do i know i'm a youtuber i've watched chicks who have made videos literally zero value but entertainment value and get tons and tons and tons of likes and views and subscribers people she posts an amazon wish list people buy the entire thing it is truly you know it is truly a hustle i gotta say that being said for you guys i want to bring this as a moment to let you guys know that you know this is your competition okay this is who you must be and the bar is very low. There are so many girls out there dying for a real man. Let me tell you something. If you really got your game sorted out, okay, I have been broke off my ass before in life. $10 to my name, but at least three to four girlfriends feeding me, taking care of me, knowing I was down and out at the time, but still like supporting me and wanting to be with me. Why? Because I'm a real man, okay? I am... I hate to use the term, but like, I just know, like, I'm, you know, the alpha male is the guy that is very desirable by, uh, from a woman. And once you have your game sorted out, possibilities are endless, okay? I, to this day, can step outside and hit the streets, and in one month, I can have a fresh new stable of five girls that are totally into me, okay? It's just, it doesn't leave you. The game doesn't leave you. Once it's in you, it's in you forever. And let me tell you something. I would rather be a broke alpha than a rich beta. Because being an alpha is one of the harder things in life to do. An alpha and the man, alpha in the sense that like you're a guy that has your dating life sorted out. Again, I hate using the terminology, but it's just, it must be used in order to be a placeholder at this point. Um, but that is what you can do as well. Once you have your game sorted out, once you're a real man, once you have your masculinity sorted out internally, it's easy as one, two, three. Because these guys are so supplicating, it the women are internally disgusted by them. Let's go back to the chat here. Jason Goodwin says 697. Gothic Panda says life on easy mode. Yeah, initially it is. Beginner mode. Have you seen the YouTube? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'm not... I'm in the wrong profession. I should have been a mid-20s female Twitch cam girl. I always say this, like, you know, and it is what it is. I would rather be a broke man than a rich woman because, honestly, I just love being a man. I'm such a caveman. I know that at the end of the day, if somebody fucks with me, I could still put their head through a goddamn wall, okay? I know that I, I, I'm super smart and I can think my way out of anything because I've done it before. And I can also, you know, I just, I just, I just love being a man. The fact that I don't, I know, and I don't know there's a girl watching right now, no offense, sweetheart, but like, you know, I'm just thrilled that I don't get a period. 
Like if I had to t- tend to that every month, it just it's just it is what it is. So again, like I'm not I'm not hating on anybody. I'm just trying to give you guys a perspective of being optimistic about your circumstance, okay? Because no matter where you are, if you're watching a stream like mine and you're trying to make yourself better, you know, it is very, very rare for a man like you to exist. That's why my audience is is like, you know, not as big as I want it to be because the majority of people, they are okay in indulging in lies and just taking in stuff that really, uh, it, it's, it's, it's comforting lies versus hard truths. And that's that's just... You know, that's just the hardcore truth right there. <laughs> LOL. Scruffy Turst says, what the fuck? Darius is pathetic. <laughs> I've been talking about the donation of $17,000 to that Twitch girl. Unbelievable. 17000 So what So what would he pay if he want, If she wants to bang? I have no idea. 17 gay. I never, I never had anything that close in a year. This guy just gave it away for the hope of some coochie. Yep. Here's my Bitcoin address. Send me something. Says <laughs> Charlie. Do it. Send Charlie some Bitcoin. Uh, some guys are just fucking morons. Yeah, she will fuck you for money, but she won't be attracted to you. Exactly, David B. Why is the doc banned? He was fil- he was like filming in the toilet. Like like he wasn't filming people in the toilet, but he was filming in the restroom, and theoretically that's against the terms of service. So they banned him to make a point, and then he just went to YouTube and just made like a fuck you video over there. He's unstoppable. You can't stop the doc. The Twitch grind is crazy hard. No, it's not. It is not. I mean, for men, yes, it is. But for girls, it's not. Literally, just show up. Don't be ugly. Be relatively insufferable. Uh, be relatively not insufferable. And then you're you're good to go. These guys donating are not your competition. These guys are not going out of their basements, says JWP Michael. Yeah. Top-tier women gamers have no skill to top-tier, top-tier male gamers. Very true extremely true oh no actual work that was a that that's what's great bro is that your own quote i'd rather be a broke alpha than a rich beta absolutely precisely what's up you're new here yeah would never want to be a woman no neither would i i love being a man i love being able to pick up heavy shit and whoop some ass uh you can only be a temptress for so long before the guys just go to pornhub exactly they will blow all their money on purses and shoes and end up broke again anyways well (laughs) <laughs> not all of them but there's one chick that's like she there's a chick her name's casey tron and she has had irs tax problems and she just had to pay twenty five thousand dollars to the irs and she's like says she's broke just four hundred and sixty seven thousand followers okay this just shows you like how just you know if you can't monetize four hundred sixty seven thousand followers literally you just gotta get everybody to give you one dollar if you can't do that then May the good Lord bless your soul. Being a man is a blessing, says unactive. Absolutely. Poor man, rich man, no time for period. Rich woman, yeah. Uh, it's not even a chance for some coochie. It's for acknowledgement on the stream and no chance for coochie, which is even thirstier. Yikes. Sniper Wolf hires a ghost player for her streams. Interesting. <laughs> Men are superior drivers. That's true. Oh, yeah, being a man is great. I don't depend on the opposite sex. Yeah, exactly. So, um... Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, guys, don't go out and just shill out cash blindly to some stranger off the internet. If you match with a girl, don't be like, hey, let's go out. Um, let's go to Outback. Let me drop $70 on dinner, including tip, and then have her never, ever call you back and just go home, fuck a guy like me, and then have me hear all the stories of you getting worked on a date. Guys, don't do it. It is not worth it. Save your money. Invest. Buy Bitcoin. Buy a consultation. Get into body language mastery. Invest in yourself. Go to fucking trade school. Learn to weld. Learn to code. There's so much more better ways to invest your money than just throwing it down the drain. Again, that's that. these guys are your competition, and that's what you're dealing with out there, okay? So I bring you a message of hope. That being said, guys, do not forget. Do not forget. June 28th, this Friday, body language mastery is launching, Okay? ModernLifeDating.com forward slash body language. Click on this link right here. Put in your best email address because it is going to be closed on July 3rd. As soon as that clock hits midnight on July 2nd, if it becomes July 3rd, it's game over. So you want to get in there like swimwear. It is $3.97 to get in. 
it is going to be 497 in quarter three, and it's going to be 597 in quarter four. 2020, Bitcoin's going to a million. I'm canceling the fucking body language program and focusing all of my time on making tons of them crypto dollars. So get in there. If you followed me on my Tokyo Crypto Show, which is every Wednesday, if you followed me from February when I told you, right now you would literally have three X your money almost. All right? About 2.5 X. But I digress. A lot of people don't want to take action. Maybe you're still skeptical. Maybe you're not. I'm getting a lot of feedback on the emails as well. So um, that's going to do it, guys. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for Testimony Tuesday. All right? Tomorrow's Testimony Tuesday. If you have a testimony, if I have helped you in some way, shape, or form, call the number on the screen tomorrow, 657-383-1318. I don't care if you're a man, woman, one of the 70,000 other genders, whatever you are. If you're a dog in Kuala Lumpur and I helped you bang some other dogs, call in. Let's hear your testimony. I know the lines are going to be lit up. I have a bunch of written testimonies that I'm going to be reading, showing you all from Body Language Mastery, trying to get in as many people as possible to deliver the maximum value to help you change your life. If you want to change your life, you got to take action. We talked about this yesterday on the Sunday sermon. Ask, seek, knock, make a plan, execute your plan by taking action and do not give up. If you want to be like me, you want to live that hot dude life, have a bunch of money, a bunch of women, a bunch of freedom, let me know. Until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.